At AirPro, we love selling custom fans, just like this one. So this fan is currently in production, and that's why it's not finished. You don't see any bearings. You don't see a motor. But it allows us to look into some of the custom features that we put into some of our custom fan designs. So this one is actually being manufactured for an API 673 application. So some of these features are brought on by the API specification, and other features are just brought on by the customer specification. So I'm going to point out some of the different custom features that go into the manufacture of this fan. First of all, it's going to be housing a 37.5 inch diameter pressure blower wheel, and it is going to be moving gas up to 925 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, because of that high temperature, we're isolating the housing from the pedestal so that we don't transfer through those high temperatures into the pedestal. We're doing that by doing a center supported housing. You can see that right here. There's a gap between the housing and the pedestal and the fan is supported actually right here at the center. So why do we support it at the center? We're trying to keep the heat expanding from the center of the housing because right here where the shaft is going to exit the fan if the fan is supported from the ground, it's going to vertically rise as the heat goes through the fan, and you can have a breakaway from the shaft seal and the shaft that causes gas, hot gas, to pour out and heat up your bearings. Not a good thing. So this one is center supported. It also is going to have a custom shaft seal that has a purge port up here so that you can run purge gas in something like nitrogen or plant air that's going to be causing a positive pressure in that shaft seal to keep the hot gas in and keep the cold gas out. Also, this one's got an insulation panel right here where we're going to spray this full of insulation and then put a panel over it so that we keep the bearings shielded from that housing heat. Once this is sent to the field, you're going to be putting thermal insulation on it, likely four inch thick thermal insulation because we have an extended access door right here. So the access door is pulled away from the housing. Insulation is going to wrap this whole housing so someone doesn't come up and touch a 900 degree housing, but you'll still be able to get at the internals through the access door, which will also have its own layer of insulation on the inside. Moving on to some of the features out here. This cutout in the pedestal is designed to have a cooling wheel in it. Now that cooling wheel is there to keep the heat away from the bearings. The bearings are going to sit on these machined bearing blocks right here. The motor is going to sit on these machined motor blocks. And then per API specifications, we also have machined mounting pads underneath the fan that are going to go on top of the unitary base. The last custom feature we're going to look at at this fan is the pie split housing design. So there is a split running down here and across here that is going to allow the customer to remove a section of housing in the field so we don't disturb our inlet and our outlet connection, which as you can see are ANSI 150 pound flanges because this is an API application. You don't want any warping in those flanges. So to recap, we love building custom fans. As you can see, We've got a whole lot of custom features on this fan, and we're happy to customize your fan however you see fit to get the job done.